Welcome back to my channel. Nowadays, DC drives are widely used in applications requiring adjustable speed, good speed regulation and frequent starting, frequent braking and reversing. In the categories of electric motors, DC motors are very versatile since they provide a smooth speed control over a wide range. They have been very widely used in the industry as variable speed drives. Some important applications are rolling mills, paper mills, mine winders, hoist, traction, printing presses, textile mills and cranes. In the earlier days, it is being predicted that AC drives will replace DC drives. However, even today, the variable applications are dominated by DC drives because of lower cost, reliability and simple control. The main disadvantage of DC motor is the presence of mechanical commutator which limits the maximum power rating and the speed of the drive. So coming to the construction of DC drive, there are two main parts. One is the field system and another one is the armature system. Field system is going to be the stationary path and armature is the rotating path of the machine. DC motors are of rotating armature type. The armature winding is a closed winding through the commutator. The armature is supplied through the brushes which are placed along the neutral axis on the commutator. Then the field system is a stationary path. The magnetomotive force, I, I mean the MMF, produced by the field is along the magnetic axis and the current flowing through the armature produces an MMF directed along the brush axis. The two MMFs are in space quadrant and occur simultaneously in the motor. They react with each other and develop a torque under whose action the armature rotates. The voltage is induced in the armature called the back EMF and the direction of rotation can be determined by the left hand rule. The special feature of DC motor is that it is possible to connect the field and armature windings in several ways so as to achieve a variety of speed tar characteristics. The motors are classified depending upon the type of connections between armature and field. The most general classification of DC motors are separately excited DC motor, DC shunt motor, DC series motor and DC compound motor. Both separately excited DC motor and series motors are normally used in variable speed drive but series motors traditionally employed for traction applications. So the basic machine equation is given by VA is equal to IA RA plus EB. When DC voltage is applied to the armature of a DC motor with its field excited by DC, a torque is developed and it rotates the armature of the motor. The acceleration mechanism of armature satisfied by this equation VA is equal to IA RA plus EB. Here EB is the induced EMF in armature. IA is the armature current and RA is the armature resistance. The nature of this EMF is to oppose the terminal voltage and therefore it is called back EMF. So this EB back EMF is given as phi Z N divided by 60 into P divided by A where phi is the flux per pole, z is the number of armature conductor, n is the speed in rpm, p is the number of pole and a is the number of parallel paths in armature. Then the torque developed by the armature is given as 1 by 2 pi z phi ia into P divided by A. Also, the speed is given as omega m is equal to V divided by K e phi minus T times R A divided by K e phi the whole square. 
This is a general expression for shunt and separately excited motor. Ke phi is equal to a constant k. Hence, omega m becomes v divided by k minus i a r a divided by k square. Similarly, for series motor, phi is proportional to i a. Hence, to remove the proportionality sign, phi is equal to k f into i a. So, omega m is equal to v divided by k e k f i a minus t into r a divided by k e k f i a the whole square.